You can have sex with one real person from all of human history, who is your ultimate lay? And why did you choose said person? Helen of Troy, if thousands of people are killed over one woman it's got to be good. I bet she was uniquely attractive for the time, but with the crazy amount of humans and access to pictures of humans we have now, it would be insane if there wasn't someone that wasn't more attractive than her. Yeah people at the time saw only the few thousands of people near them, and vague paintings or carvings or sculptures of a few famous people. Not only do we have far more people, ability to travel, etc. We have the ability to watch on screens a selection of images of people who have been chosen by our artificial selection for attractiveness. TV presenters, actors, porn stars, YouTube personalities even the amateur ones would lean more attractive. Also those would certainly not necessarily be the most attractive people alive. Imagine how many people don't care about working in front of a camera. Hottest chick I ever knew was my manager at Six Flags. And 17 year old me was madly in love with her. I knew a girl from Georgia who was insanely beautiful. We worked together and hung, hang, out a few times but she moved away. Damn she was pretty. Kate Beckinsale. I don't even have to go back. In leather? Definitely. Rasputin because he was Russia's greatest love machine. It was a shame how he carried on. I heard he was shot until he was dead. Oh those crazy Russians. I believe they put some poison into his wine as well. And then threw him into the river. 90s Sama Haik. She is still amazing now good call on Salma. Thanks, 30 year old Sama and 20 year old me would be awesome. I've always wanted to lose my virginity to a MILF. I'd go back beyond the Neolithic. Visit some random hot cave woman in her grotto, impress her with my apple watch and grunt at her for hours. Then I'd record that prehistoric ass going up and down and donate the footage to the British Museum for scholars to interpret. Firstly, weird. Secondly, she would stink. And probably have more muscles than him. She wouldn't be interested in him and the watch. Snoo snoo. Also, she'd be ugly and hairy. And probably around four feet tall. Keep talking. Unzips. Eleanor of Aquitaine, get me some choice lands in the south of France and bang a hot redhead what's not to like. This guy diplomatically marriages. Is there any other type of marriage? My wife. Because she knows my username sad face. I also choose this guy's wife. 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 Bread and Fraser. Then sell the tape because if the Kardashians can get big from a sex tape so can Bread and Fraser. The story of how he got out of the business is actually really interesting and very sad. You can read it here. TL, Drive he was sexually assaulted by an ex-president of the Hollywood Foreign Press Association in one. It made him feel unsafe so he began acting somewhat reclusive and too. He thinks he may have been blackballed for complaining about it to the HPA, even though he didn't go public at the time. Also, massive injuries from having to do stunts for the mummy movies. 
Hashtag make Brendan Fraser a star again. I don't get why this question exits. Why not just dig the six feet? Yes officer this comment right here. Gotta know where to dig. 2005 Lindsay Lohan. In Herbie. In the car? Let the car watch. Audrey Hepburn. I had a vivid dream about her once. Nothing sexual at all, we just talked. Very nice lady. 10 out of 10, would totally talk to her again. Marie Antoinette. Before or after the revolution? Weeping a headless corpse sounds fun. Or a corpseless head. Not sure which is worse sounding. Haha. -ha. Julie Numer around 1969. I've had a crush on her before I knew what sex was. She's not only gorgeous and sensual, she seems to have a sense of humor too. Perfect answer. Jennifer Canelli from the movie Career Opportunities. Jennifer Connelly from any movie, really. Lato. I mean, can you just imagine the satisfying pillow talk that could follow? Me? Hey Plato, what are you thinking about? Plato. Translation, this was a disappointing mistake. It's all Greek to me. Hitler's mom. Give her a Dutch oven when cuddling. Weird back to the future like twist, you're Hitler's father. If it was before his birth, you should give her a German oven. Take your upvotes and leave. Grace Kelly, because she was freaking gorgeous. Eve. Then you'll become all your Mufo's great great dad. But would you be your own great 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 etc. granddad? SSSSH, that's my hidden intention. 1960s era and Margaret, anyone? Young Clint Eastwood. Or young Paul Newman. Cleopatra would be fun. Tap that asp. JG Wentworth. 877 cash now. This awakened a deep fear within me. Halle Berry around 2004. Twenty-year-old Jenna Fisher. If you think she's cute now, you should have seen her a couple years ago. She'd probably be a six in New York, but she's like a seven here in Scranton. Zar Nicholas too, there's something about that beard and fatherly disposition that make him super sexy to me. I'll just have to ignore the fact that his stupidity led to the collapse of a 300 year dynasty.
Might I suggest King George V of England? He looks almost exactly the same except without all of the baggage of being overthrown by Bolsheviks. Er, they were I want to say cousins? Them and Wilhelm too. They didn't call Queen Victoria the grandmother of Europe for nothing. Speaking of which, I think I picked Queen Victoria. At how old? Yes. My late fiancée because seeing her bent over working on a car was the best vision ever. I also choose this man's car. Young Michelle Pfeiffer. May I take her now, Jeff? Nineteen seventies Pam Greer. Early two thousands Judy Grier. Catherine the Great could probably teach you some things. In Civilization Ivy when you first meet her, she'll sometimes invite you to her place for coffee. I also recall her giving you some beep me eyes when you were in alliances or on good terms with Russia. If you defeat her she says we have been defeated. That makes me your captive. There are worse fates, I suppose as she offers her hands to be tied. Save 5 Catherine in to some freaky business. Freaky Catherine is just as much a sieve trop as nuclear Gandhi. Jennifer Tilly. I had a crush on her when I was a kid. Green dress and liar liar. Julie Dior Bigney. She fought men in fencing duels and broke her lover out of a nunnery by setting the place on fire. She became an opera singer and beat the beep out of another singer because he was harassing girls. I just imagine her having a crazy energy and knowing exactly what she wants. A long-term relationship would be problematic, but it would be a great fling. Steve Irwin. He was awesome and sexy. And imagine his commentary. Crikey. Just look at this little fella. Isn't she a beauty? I'm sure he'd boost the self-esteem laughing crying emoji.